Basics is a proud collaboration between Sony Malaysia, Z, and Lens Library. If you enjoyed watching all these videos about alpha cameras, I'm willing to bet you're gonna enjoy shooting with them even more. We most certainly enjoyed making these videos. In fact, since episode one, this entire series was filmed only using alpha cameras along with some of our favorite FE lenses. That's why today's episode is all about putting your alpha camera to work by walking you through our process of making a YouTube video. Our main camera has been the FS3 and the S7S3 along with the S7C for some additional angles. It's no coincidence that these cameras are the weapon of choice of many online creators that quite simply make your job easier. A very large portion of YouTube videos are comprised of two elements, the talking head and B-roll. The talking head is what you're looking at right now. It's literally a shot of somebody's head talking to the camera. This would become the main structure for the video's narrative. And unless you're demonstrating something visually interesting to the camera, you will want to supplement the talking head with some B-roll. B-roll is simply referring to cutaway shots. We typically have them filmed separately from the talking head and edit them in during a relevant part of the speech. So imagine the talking head as the backbone of your edit and you will have bits of B-roll pop in every now and then. Now, let's put what we learned in this series to use. Before we begin rolling, make sure we have decided on a frame rate. We are going with 24 frames per second. And also, what picture profile we will be shooting on. We have chosen a PP8, which is S-Log3, for maximum flexibility in post. You should remember this from the last episode, right? And this should go without saying, but you should make sure your exposure is set properly before you begin rolling. And since we have no intentions of zooming in or out during this talking head, we're opting to go with a prime lens. I wanted something natural without looking too wide or too tight, so this shot was filmed on the 35mm f1.4 G Master. Now, as good as the talking head looks, it can all be ruined by bad audio. So to make sure that doesn't happen, we are currently using the ECMW2 BT, which is a very fuss-free audio solution, especially for YouTube videos. It can be as easy as having the transmitter clipped onto my shirt and the receiver attached onto the camera's multi-interface shoe. But for a more discreet look on camera, we're also using the ECM LV1 stereo lavalier microphone, and that's plugged into the transmitter, which will allow us to position that transmitter out of view from the camera. For talking head, our alpha camera have one feature that is super helpful, real-time eye autofocus. It will make sure your subject face is always sharp. Make sure it's enabled in the menu and set your autofocus area to white. Once it's pick up Z face, it will stay in focus even if you lean forward or back when talking. And when you move on to shoot your B-roll, that is when you can really experiment with camera movement. If you're doing something like a slider shot, here's an autofocus tip. Set your camera's touch operation mode to touch tracking. This lets you take advantage of your camera's real-time tracking capabilities. Simply tap on your subject on the screen and your autofocus will stay on your subject for the rest of the move. And if you ever found yourself shooting handheld, remember the alpha camera comes with steady shot built-in, also known as in-body image stabilization. Turn it on, making a huge difference for handheld shooting. It's extremely effective at eliminating jitter and allow you to be more daring with your handheld shot. Having any amount of movement will make your shots look that much more dynamic since movement is the one thing that sets video apart from still images. Lucky for us, the modern day shooter, technologies like steady shot and real time tracking have really made pulling off these shots so much more approachable than they were before. And it's all built into these compact little cameras. Now that you're all geared up with the basics of video making and have an incredibly capable camera in hand, Maybe it's time to put that camera to work. We would love to see what you can make. Especially after this five episode crash course, I believe you'll be a lot more confident the next time you press that record button on your camera. Thank you so much for joining us on BASIC. I'm Jace and this is Z. And we'll be seeing you around. When do we shoot the advance? After my vacation.